due to buy of this meter here today. The Westinghouse ABB E1 meter. This was the first ever um, electronic meter to be made in the United States or Canada or Mexico, Greenland. But this meter had two major setbacks to it. As you can see, it's a 240 volt three wire. So I have this meter here, the Vectron meter. So as you can see, it says 120 to 277. So if I turn this around here, this one's actually heavy because it has a big transformer in it. As you can see these right here, the prongs, you could plug this into a single phase socket and it would be it'd be working. All you need would is an, would be an uh, alligator clip to clip to the neutral because this is a four wire. But you couldn't do that with this. You would have to have a specific polyphase bag for it. Um, and it wasn't the other real big setback was the demand on it. You could say if you had it running and you had a say three kilowatt demand, it would go infinite. It would say this is an infinite demand, and that was probably made the utility companies mad because they'd have to give the customer some free electricity. So these weren't too popular. This is why this one is really these are rare meters to see. Um, this was, these were made from 1987 to 1994 because I guess power companies really didn't like them so then they came out with the A1D meter and those are completely successful. See how that's a Form 2S, if that was a polyphase you could use it on anything even if it was a 4 wire. That's why I, I, these aren't made anymore. See that says Duke Power, but these ones, they're, I don't know, kind of, they're, they're interesting because it's the first uh, electromechanical, not electromechanical, electronic meter. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.